I uh, I think we're gonna be saying starting yet. Are we on now? I like yeah, to thank y'all for coming to Q City World. I'm here with my boy Love One, Hate One, Colin. We finna drop a nice little video for y'all, man. You know what I mean? Ain't drop one in a minute. We finna do a catch up. Yep. Colin, AKA Puncher's Chat. Yeah, yeah. Coming yeah. soon. Yeah. Yeah. Coming my guy, soon. my guy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> got some heat to talk yeah, about. What's the top? What's the first one right. we're going with first, Q? All right, y'all, man. So we finna roll with this. Uh, let's talk about the Kovalev fight, man. Against Alina Alvarez. What y'all thought about that fight, man? Uh, we got to talk about this one long. Well, who want to go first? Who want to take it first? I ain't oh, going to go. I ain't, ain't giving them spit. That's y'all people. <laughs> <laughs> I told you right, yeah. this nigga ain't got nothing else left, what man. About it's about over. Fight? I mean, what, what, you you thought, what did y'all think about it? Was it a good it, fight? It, or I thought the fight was cool. No, y'all wasn't feeling it. I thought it was a, a, a mediocre fight. Um, I also thought that Lita Alvarez came in the fight thinking he was gonna land another right hand to end it. So he really wasn't trying hard. He like, man, the right hand is gonna land and he's gonna get knocked out again. So I really fight like Lita Alvarez wasn't trying to the best of his potential. That's just my opinion on it. That's all I gotta say yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah, he didn't, he, didn't, he didn't step up. He ain't step up. It was like kind of boring a little bit, but uh, uh -huh. you no, know, Kovalev did what he had to do. You know what I mean? Yeah, he hey man, I was reading the uh, Kovalev. I was reading the Kovalev article though, man. Y'all read the Kovalev article, man, on a boxing scene, bro. What he did to his girlfriend? No. Let's see that. Man, she had a boxer, nigga. Yeah. She, she what? A boxer? A dog. A boxer oh. dog. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So she can't. He, they got into. The, I guess they got in the fight. She said they got in the fight and. Yeah. Attacking her, like shaking her up, grabbing, and the dog was growling, and then he beat the dog up. Well, cover there. But the dog was a boxer, though, so you know what I mean? And they had to fight. Two boxers gonna fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, no, like you shit, Yeah, a little side note. You know, that would have been Floyd Mayweather, though. They'd been trying to interview and talk about that shit all day. But since oh, yeah. You know, Come on, we know what time it is. Yeah, this is Kovalev, man. You know what I mean? They let the man slizz out. You know I mean? I'll, but, I'll say one more thing about Kovalev. I, I won't mind seeing Kovalev fight old boy that knocked out of Don Stevenson. I won't mind seeing that fight right there. Man, I think Kovalev going to be a great gatekeeper. Yeah. You know what I mean? For that division now. You know what I mean? He's going to keep Shelly Finkel some money. And they're going to keep throwing their little bones. But I think as far as him fighting the top <laughs> echelon fighters, I don't think he got it no more. You know what I mean? What about but, at the yard? Know, he getting there like a, a at the yard, or they might just do a rematch. At the yard, what are you doing like that? Yard, that's what I'm saying. He needs uh, to do something. Yard, they knock his head loose. You know what I'm saying? I don't even think they want him to do all that. I just think you know they they're gonna feed him to a couple of people. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? But I just don't think for his career, I don't think he can beat none of them guys. So. And he kind of old, ain't he? Kind of old up there now, ain't he? She's yeah, been around for a while. Like, like 30, 36, late 30. Yeah, years. that's what I'm saying. He better leave it alone, be like like a Donna Stevenson. I know, see, see that weight division is kind of like iffy, you know what I mean? Because it's, it's one that, it's in the middle. So it's like, you don't know if you're heavy or whatever. So people, it's kind of like a, a flow through. Now, I, ain't, I never really respected it too much, you know what I mean? So it's like the bullshit yeah. division. Well, now, well, now. No, I got, got some fighters in that division, but like you said, it just ain't no American. You know, we're American boxing fans, so you know, it just yeah. ain't got no real American stars up in that division. But they do, like, you know, Bottom Jack. Uh, I think Bottom Jack was a good fight. Bottom Jack got busted like a motherfucker. I don't want to get off topic, but that's Marcus Brown now. I mean, come on now. Well, what about Marcus Brown? I would love to see that too. Would he beat Marcus Brown? How would he beat Marcus Brown? I don't know. We have to see. Mm. Mm. I don't know. He still can punch. I give him that. He still that got that hand. Fight. Yeah, oh, he, that ain't gonna never go nowhere. No, he that's that's that, that's gonna stay. That's what's gonna keep him getting Fred fed. And he might be somebody mm -hmm. and end up getting that chance one day. But you know, we gotta just wait and see. Yeah, we're gonna wait that one out. 
Yeah. Where we at? Yeah. Um, so, um, what y'all think about uh, the Devin? I ain't had a chance to talk about the Devin Haney. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Um, yeah. So, um, what y'all think about uh, the Devin? I ain't had a chance to talk to you about the Devin. I think Devin yeah, ain't good, King, man. Wayne King, what up? Wayne King, what's up, man? Yeah, man. Ladies came through. Shout out to Wayne King. Wayne King, you want to get a link? Just let me know. I got you. Wayne King, what's the deal? <laughs> Wayne King, what's up, what up? Wayne King, what's 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 Come on, oh, yeah, thank you. On we you. on Devin Henney? Yeah, Devin. Now what y'all think about Devin Haney? Hey, hey, Colin, what you? I want to hear Colin. Uh, what you think about Devin Haney last fight, Colin? Man, I liked it. I ain't gonna lie, I liked it. He showed some skills. He dominated. I'm ready to see him fight some up, upper. You know, what I'm saying some top, top guys. But you know, a lot of them ain't gonna choose him because you know his name is is known to boxers, but not everybody else. And he's such a great talent. People don't know exactly where he at, so it's kind of like a risky fight. You know what I mean? You're going to really give up your name to a – not a nobody, but a potential somebody. You know what I mean? But wow. I don't know. I, I just didn't uh, – like I said, he did his job. You know what I mean? I know people's question is punching power, and every time you can see that, and that, you know what I'm saying? He really couldn't close the deal. But he was beating the hell out of dude, man. He did a great job, you know? I mean, he did what he was supposed what to do. What do you think about like that? you think, y'all? I mean, I'm going to keep it real about? with you. I, I'm gonna keep it real with you. I can't get my full judgment on Devin Haney until he he stepping up the competition. All he's doing is what he's supposed to do right now. Right. You know? Yeah. Right. That's all he's doing. It's what he's supposed yeah. to do. Yeah. And he's supposed to, but he won credit like it's something for now. You know what I mean? Because he is a talent, yeah, and everybody got, looking for that it. next Floyd. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's like they rushing him, but you don't want to rush him too fast and, and get ran off. The, you know what I mean? You don't want you ain't Canelo, and you ain't got no. Millions and millions of Mexican followers. So you take an L and you that young, that could be damn near, you know, detrimental to your whole thing. You take you a while to get back up that mountain. That's true. That's that. One. Hey, you hear about you hear about y'all hear about uh, Floyd Mayweather and his dad arguing in the corner? Yeah, that was some Haney. bullshit. Yeah, I, I thought that was wrong of, of Haney Senior. Well, I don't even know if that's his senior or not. But hey, Haney's dad. I think he he addressed that should have been taken care of back in the back room before long before the fight came about, but. I think yeah. Floyd. I think Floyd does know uh, a lot way more than him. But I will say this: Devin Haney dad handled it perfect when they asked him. Um, when they asked him, y'all, I don't know if y'all seen the interview. And he sat there and told the dude, I'm "Like, no, nah, I'm not even about to go ahead and let y'all all start dividing us by that." You know what I'm saying? And I love how Devin Haney seniors, uh, Devin Haney's dad, dealt with that man. He, he answered it perfect. Whereas Floyd Senior kind of he let the dude kind of manipulate him to get some out of him. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Got him talking all crazy about him, like his daddy don't know shit and all this kind of stuff. And his and, and Devin Haney's dad handled it perfect. Like, you know, we That's respect him X, Y, and Z. And yeah, but I just think I think his dad uh got some different ways and they just need to have some better communication. But you know, that's how Floyd Senior is, though. A lot of people don't like him because he yeah, is more about himself. You know what I'm saying? So he loses a lot of great fighters, like being him, how he acts and you know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I mean, he just act like people what do you think him, about it, you know? Mm -hmm. huh? How you feel about that? I mean, to be it? real with you, I didn't, I didn't even hear about it until now. I'm late on this one. Oh, you did? Yeah, uh, yeah, they were supposed to be talking. I think, yeah, man, I'll be feeling like, you know. Go ahead. Go ahead. What'd you say, Kyle? Go ahead. I Go said ahead. what happened was his dad, uh, like it was like a first or second round. Floyd Senior was saying something to him, and his dad told him like, "Man, sit down." Like basically, like sit to him, sat the fuck down. Like you know what I'm saying? I got this. And then, but see later on, if you I remember in the, in the fight, he started listening. He started talking about yeah, now yeah, it was like about seven days round. Talking about you do what Floyd was saying, telling you to do. You know what I mean? But by then, you didn't pissed him off, and so he's sitting on the on the in the chair like, "Fuck it, good luck." You know what I'm saying? So oh. yeah, it was dirty, okay. but you know. But Floyd was supposed to be the number one in charge, you know what I'm saying? But his dad wasn't having that shit. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. well, yeah you know, man. Argument. I just think. I just think. I just think. Like you said, it should have been. It, you you can't disrespect Floyd Mayweather's father, man. You feel what I'm saying? Another thing about mm -hmm. Devin Haney that irks me a little bit, man. Is I feel like you don't want to. You don't want to be like. 
I mean, it don't hurt me. It just be like, I see what you're doing, dog. Like, nigga, the only reason we know about you is because of the Mayweather gym. I ain't even right. gonna say Floyd, but Floyd and them did sponsor this dude. You feel what I'm saying? So when they say, Semi. who you look up to on Showtime, oh, I looked up to Sugar Ray Leonard. Uh, Man, and then he did a Showtime. Hold on. And then he did the Showtime uh, video. And he had the Andre Ward gym. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm like, hey, uh, come on, bro. You be at the Mayweather gym every time we see you. You feel what I'm saying? But, you know, maybe I'm being petty. Oh, you know what I mean? But at the end of the day, bro, you feel what I'm saying? Nah, like, I, I think you do. I mean, you right about I mean, but see, he's from the Bay Area, too. So I think he tried to pull some of that, you know, Devin, uh, Andre yeah, Ward type stuff wrong. where you get the Andre Ward stuff. That put you wrong. Andre Ward ain't the one in the gym that put you on. The Mayweather gym put you on. When you was on Showtime, you should have been representing the Mayweather gym. You don't argue with yeah. Mayweather's father on TV. But see, you feel but me? Y'all ain't shit. Y'all ain't yeah. doing shit. Y'all ain't big enough yeah. to be out here disrespect Mayweather, dog. Like, that dog, the OG like that, man. Mm, yeah. man. Hey, you got to sit down and shut up. No, nigga. Yeah. Look, man. Yeah. You feel me? They, 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 they cloud chasing, bro. You feel yeah, yeah, they, they, try, they, try, they just try to get everybody to say they like him. So if you got Andre Ward loving him, if you got Virgil Hunter, you got all the people in the Mayweather gym, you know what I'm saying? Them a lot of a lot of powerful people on the on the on the thing that like him. So you know what I mean? He go around, he trained, but he trained with everybody. He trained with Roy Jones. He trained with I've seen him a thousand times with different gyms. And that's kind of what his daddy did with him, took him around <laughs> and learned from a bunch of different people. You know what I'm saying? Which I respect, but you know what I mean? I think. Uh, he just getting- I feel it. I understand that. But at the end of the day, you feel me? He, he <laughs> mostly at the gym. You know what I mean? When Dante Boxing Nation did his little interviews back in the day, mm-hmm. they did at the Mayweather gym, nigga. I don't oh, yeah, know about all that. Then yeah, I started before- sitting up visiting other gyms, but his home yeah. base was the Mayweather gym. You feel what I'm saying? That's what yeah. I seen, but maybe I'm wrong. <laughs> no, nah, you ain't wrong. I, I feel you. I, I just think he just he wanted a different light, man. He want he trying to expose, get all the exposure he can. And like I said, I like what his dad doing and stuff with him. But I think, like what you was talking about, he he been he left Florida a couple of times throughout like the last five seven years or whatever. He didn't left him a bunch of times. He come back, go leave. They get into it. It's so something that's always happening. Okay, so they're kind of used to it. Yeah, it's like, you know, Floyd ain't backing down. He like, I'm trying to tell you what to do. And, you know, y'all want me to say this boy's supposed to be the next Floyd. Well, why I'm going to say that if I ain't training him? Exactly. You can't sponsor nothing that I can't. Y'all, yeah. y'all want to take over training. Y'all want to do with Roy Jones. And hey, y'all want to do what Zab Judah daddy taught you how to do. Well, go on ahead. You did. <laughs> Don't tell your son to do with a kickboxing. You know what I mean? Right. Hey, go listen to him. <laughs> That's yeah. what Floyd Mayweather said. Go, go do that, then. Do that. Fuck, don't ever disrespect me like that, bro. You feel me? That's like, that's like y'all going, y'all coming on my channel, and I'm just disrespecting y'all, dog. You feel me? Yeah. Like, my hell no. You feel me? Don't yeah, no. disrespect me. On my fucking TV, dog. Not your. People. I ain't gonna lie. That's name. real shit, though, Q. Not that's real shit. But we giving Devin Hay a little bit too much light. Yeah. You right though, man. I had to go off. I ain't never seen nothing about it. I'm like, man, Devin, y'all niggas better represent Mayweather Gym, nigga. Fuck that. Gone rule, nigga. Hey, yeah. anyway, man. Uh, like I was saying, uh, Tank Davis this week against. Uh, uh, Abba Morris. <laughs> I'm this week against. Who he fighting? Uh, Dang, you, you I ain't fighting that, but Abba Morris got hurt. Abba Morris got hurt. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so it's official. I, I, I did hear about that. Oh yeah, he pulled out. Yeah, love it was last Monday. His eye, he tore his retina or whatever, and they had a little thing oh. on on uh, on Fox last uh, yesterday about it. He came on oh, PBC okay. Fox and talked about you know what I'm saying everybody was talking about it. he he felt bad, but his shit was really messed up. But shit, it's boxing. Yeah, this injury happens in the sport of boxing. It's not always fake. Yeah, yeah. Man, you Tank know. Davis got to turn up, man. Tank Davis got to turn up, man. I'm tired of watching Tank fight these little niggas coming up with the 126. I don't want to see Tank fight 135 fighters, nigga. I'm, Tank needs to go to 135. Ain't no, ain't well, no work in the 135. I think the problem with mind, that is... I won't mind... Go ahead. I think the problem with Tank is, man, you know, 
they they want him to let Lemachico and them get out the way before they bring him along. Same way with Haney and all them. Like nobody, they don't want to waste them on some of these guys that got the skill level, and they'll drown them. You know what I mean? So they're trying to stall the process. But like you saying, it's getting old. You know what I mean? You you made him too big of a brighter star too early. How you gonna be co-main event on a Floyd card twice or two or three times? You know what I mean? And now you don't want to fight Lomachenko and all them. Come on, man, that don't even make sense. No. At least, at least fight a solid fighter. Like he could, he could fight a Richard Comey. What's up with Richard Comey versus? Yeah. Tank? I don't mind saying that. He need Richard to make Kevin versus Farmer. Tank. He need to make some exciting fights, man. You know, he Richard Comey might farmer. sweep Tank though. He's gonna be chasing <laughs> Farmer like AJ in a little while, bro. Yeah, you gonna need him because you don't really want that uh, Leo Santa Cruz fight and all them type of ones yet. You don't want uh yeah Leo Santa yeah Leo might be too skillful for him right now. Man, we'll work him over. Then you got Telefimo. <laughs> that's the next one, but they both like young, so that's not a fight. They got let that uh -huh. brew up. You know what I mean? It's nowhere. It's you know, it's like you gonna take a big risk or you gonna just sit back and keep fighting these bums and you gonna your and your star power gonna die down unless you're knocking them out. <laughs> I think Richard yeah. Comey might stop Tank, yo. Yeah. Richard Comey is a beast, man. He ain't never really lost. He ain't never really lost like that. He lost against Aaron Russell. What are you talking about? Yeah, beat, oh, man. man. That, but that, that's just skill. That's just all type of fast hands. and <laughs> I, don't even, I don't remember him losing that fight, though. But even if he did lose, Gary Russell, he just, that's just fast hands and boxing. I'm tired of him. I'm tired of Gary. I'm tired of that. He... <laughs> He yeah. just like Gary is like, what's the other little dude that lost to uh, Lomachenko? He moved up to two way the division, got his ass blown out. So, uh, still uh, a fighter. Rigged down. Rigged down. Rigged down. Yeah, Rigged down. Not Gary Russell. I mean, Robert Easton. No, I meant Robert Easton. My bad. Not Gary Russell. Uh, Robert sure. Easton Jr. Robert that Easton. was a debatable fight. That was a debatable fight. He, what you mean? That was a close fight. Of course, they gave it to Robert Easton Jr. because he was the bigger draw. He was undefeated. But that was a close fight. And he hurt. I beat him, man. Robert beat him that fight, man. What you thought about that fight against Robert? That was, Remember, that that, I know this. Robert Easter will drown that boy. I would love to see Robert Easter and Tank Davis fight. I want to see that. Now, that's a good Fox PBC Cup fight. Robert Easter might be too big for him, though, man. That's why it's going to make it interesting. Yeah, it's going to be man, very interesting. Gonna be Robert if, they listen, if Mikey Garcia, they if Mike Garcia they loses brothers. the spit, yeah, they, they brothers, brothers they though. Fight. They brothers. If Mikey Garcia <laughs> loses the spit, if Mike Garcia loses the spit, he could fight Tank. But I don't think Mayweather will do that though. Mm -mm, that's Mikey too far. That's too, that's too far down. You can't go from one forty-seven to to one thirty-five or one thirty. That's too small for. Him. But he's talking about going back. Say what? To fight no, Lomachenko. Yeah. Can y'all hear me? Out. He got to up. Went out. What happened? You say he's talking about the going back and you start you cut out. Oh yeah. I said, yeah, I said he was talking about going back down to 135 to fight Lomachenko. Yeah, that's just for the money though. You know what I mean? Yeah, but is it take take versus Mikey is a decent check? No, nah, ain't like that Lomachenko. Check? That Lomachenko. Oh, no, hell no. Hell. Well, what's second <laughs> yeah. place then? What's second place? Oh, it's at one thirty five. That's the ones on Fox and ones on pay per view. That's a big difference, and both of them got the money. They got their own. You know what I mean? I I, I don't think Mikey should move down. First of all, when you are doing that kind of stuff, you gonna you gonna drain. Your shit. Roy Jones learned from that shit. Did you, know you know what? what I, mean? I I said that in a, in a prior video. That's true. It's not good to go back up and down the weight. No, no. So, but no, what not you if think? you add muscle. Not if you add muscle, because then you know what I'm saying. Not the, muscle, like, not the kind of muscle that Mikey Mikey bought the game for this Earl Spence fight. He gonna need. He gonna have to be. Man. He ain't gonna never be to go back down, bro. He like, might nah, get to 140. Like, but he, he, was gonna gonna say, he would. He would have to go to 140, and he could fight Regis Progress. Mm, that's a nice fight. Uh huh. I got Mike. I got some phase lined up for Mikey, boy. So if he don't get if he don't get past Spence, I got some fans still lined up for the boy. Mm. You think Regis mm. is Regis a big Mike? That's I, a 50, I say 50, a big, uh, but it'd be a good fight. I think it'd be good. like I said. It I, I still want to see Mikey versus Spence and like some of these bigger dudes and see how he box them. He would. This is the thing. Mikey made Robert Easton look horrible. Uh huh. You know what I'm saying? He made him like a clown, especially the second half of the fight. Yeah, just drowned him like just, just man. So after that performance, I don't think nobody really 
You gotta have a big name to get that the edge over Mikey. And nothing about, about I said, man. Like, he showed Mikey a lot of respect right. too. He showed Mikey a lot of respect. But go ahead, Q. I just think Mikey, man, just like at the 135 division, like he said, man, it was like he wasn't motivated. It wasn't no fights there that he felt was competition. You feel what I'm saying? He probably looking at Loma Checo like that's easy work while everybody else thinking that Loma could beat him. But Mikey, like, man, and then he thinking about Bob, man, he got to deal with if he got to uh, mess with Loma Checo. So he like, man, forget that, dog. I'm about to just. Yeah, Bob, I'm won't, if I'm Bob, I wouldn't let it go. <laughs> no, for real. That's what I'm saying. If I'm Bob, I'm not yeah. gonna let you leave me and then beat my star power guy. I ain't got nobody else beside him and Crawford, man. Nope, nope, nope. No. Just like Manny nah, Pacquiao, you mind. think he gonna feed him to uh, Terrence Crawford just to chance that? No. Nope. Nope. You know what I mean? Yeah. Hey, it is a business, yo. Boxing is a business. Uh, I'm gonna protect my investment until I receive recoup my dividends. You feel me? <laughs> right. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's exactly that. what he's all about. You said yeah. it. It's you a know. business first. That's the cold part. Yeah. yeah. That's Fans, you part. just want to see the fights, but you ain't. You uh, exactly. got to understand the back end of it. You know what I mean? Where shit, right, man. Ain't no back end up. I, I like. I said I like Mikey, man. I think he's good. I think he got great feet work. I think he he can fight, but I just I just don't see him beating them bigger. I, you know who I want to see him fight? I want Porter. That's who I want to see him fight. Porter. Well, look, Kyle, let me tell you. Ooh, no, Porter might tell you be too though. much for him. Porter who, might be too much. That's what I'm talking about. He's he gonna rough him up. He's gonna keep that pressure. He's gonna stay in his chest. He ain't gonna just you know what I mean. I think that'd be a great fight. I like to see that. It fight. will be a great fight, but Porter might be too much for Mikey, yo. As I'm looking at it. Porter got that that foot speed, that 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 style. That's just you got man. Porter's just style. a baby Earl Spence. <laughs> no, yeah, no, he, really about, he really is. He really is. He really is. But Earl Spence wild, don't be man. head, but and like he don't use his head like that. He wild, nigga. <laughs> I don't know about that, man. Porter, I think Mikey might be too much. Wow, bro. I mean, um, Porter. Porter's trying to get. Mikey. Porter's trying to get his shit a little bit more together. He's trying not to be as wild like against Danny Garcia. He wasn't as wild as he normally. Man, he, that's, yeah, how he, he that's how he beating these people. Man, he roughing them up, making the fight ugly. If you if you got a bright star, you really don't want to fight Sean Porter because the fight's gonna be an ugly fight. It's gonna be a bunch of breaking and holding and roughing you up. It's just not a good fighter, not a good fight for a boxer. You know what I'm saying? Because it's gonna mm -hmm. he gonna make you look ugly. It just he always do. He just gonna smother you, so you ain't getting no clear punches. So if he's smothering, you gonna tie him up. People gonna be booing. You know what I mean? He's gonna keep his head in your chest. Against the rope. So, I mean, it's just going to be ugly. He just mauls you. He don't got a bunch of punch apart, but he just mauls you to death. In and out. In and out. Yeah. I mean, so, but we're going to get on the Earl Spence. Uh, hey, we got to get on the Earl Spence. Uh, Mike, I got some. I've been, I've been watching uh, Earl Spence fights, man. I think that uh, – I think Mikey got Earl Spence in the middle of that ring. Man. I think – I think. Uh, I want to hear what Kyle got said. I don't think Earl Spence got Mikey in the middle of that ring. Earl Spence got to drive him to the uh, ropes. I think, Earl gonna, I think Earl going to mow him over by the fourth or fifth round. He's going to start taking it over. And once they start taking more chances, and he's just going to be too much. He's just going to be too much pressure. If he, you think he can't stand to, to Sean Porter, he damn sure ain't going to be a stand-up to a bigger dude that do the same thing. No, nah, but the thing, about, the, the thing about Sean Porter is he's like – He's physically dirty when he fight. I don't even think it's intentionally, but the head button, the whole, he just maul and brawl you. That, that's Errol what I'm Spence. saying. It makes it an ugly fight. A lot of fans don't like it, but it's, I mean, Evander Holyfield was like that. Just it just be on you. Just made you fight to the whole ride. I'm gonna lie though. I'm gonna lie though. I think I really think I think Mikey can be Sean Porter. I gotta see what he can do. See, and another thing, Mikey what can I, be Sean hey, what, another thing about Earl Spence that you gotta think about. Is he gonna respect Mikey Power? Have you ever seen Earl Spence respect anybody Power? I said that too. I think you're gonna have to respect it, but level one. I said. Have you I said ever seen too? I think you gonna respect the power too. I keep trying to tell y'all, whoever went into the fight with Earl Spence, a hundred percent confident they was gonna win the fucking fight. Please answer that question. Yeah. Earl Spence kind of got that Mike Tyson factor. Like when you go in there, you be like, man, this, yeah. this big motherfucker gonna win, low key. <laughs> he did, man. He did. Kyle, check this out though. Like, Shit. you you say you say that he beat Robert Easter so bad, but think about how bad he beat Mikey Garcia. Who beat me? Not Mike Garcia. How bad he beat Adrian Bronner? Who beat Adrian Bronner like Mikey Garcia? 
Who made these see, violence? Marcos made Donna. Boy, they power like. Boy, but see, this is what I say. All them guys, Earl Spence, not Earl Spence, but Adrian Brown and Robert Garcia, you got to think, they all got a lot of fame real quick. So we believed in them, or a lot of people believed in them. How we really know they was up to that point? You know what I'm saying? You just see Adrian Brown, he don't even throw punches. You know what I'm saying? He whooped Easter. Easter, he was just too big for Easter. You know what I'm saying? He was, he was just whooping Easter. Like basic stuff, man. He hit too high. He was just, oh, it was just, he took him to school. But that's why I yeah, said take did. somebody to put him against the ropes and just maul him and, and, and no, just going to throw a thousand punches. You know what I mean? He, you got to be more offensive versus Mikey. You can't let him dictate the pace. And Mike he stay off he, no he, rope, bro. Tyler, I'm telling you, bro. Go watch. Man, I got, man, I dropped a video. I took it down because I don't even want to do it. Boy, hey, people, hey, I got a video for you, boy. You, hey, if, if, if Earl Spence fight Mike Garcia in the middle of that ring, bro, it's Mikey gonna kill him. Kill him. Earl, like, <laughs> why would he stand there? He gonna just push him back. He gonna pressure him. No, I don't think he. I don't think he gonna bully Mikey, yo. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't think he gonna bully Mikey. I'm gonna go on the limb and say I think he gonna put the hands on him. And Earl gonna have to fight, and Earl gonna be on his back foot. I'm gonna go on the limb and say this, Q. Let me listen. I said it before. I think Mikey the hardest puncher that Earl Spence has faced. And, and, and before y'all disagree with me, keep in mind that Mikey Garcia gonna be on some juice that day. So he gonna hit even harder. He's juice enough for he's juice enough for Earl Spence. Please delete that. Snack, you, you telling me Snack got it? He taking that snack. <laughs> snack got it. Yeah, they got it. <laughs> he look. He look. Hold on. Yeah, no, no, we going in on Colin. Like, we gonna go in on, on uh, Colin because he's gonna <laughs> Earl Spence. Hey, look, Colin, check this out. Earl Spence, the boy ain't never came in no fight in shape like he is this fight. You feel what I'm saying? Then he on Snack. You know what I'm saying? Uh huh. The nigga throwing medicine balls across the football field, man. Talking about the man. I'm gonna tell you what's gonna happen really with all that weight, man. I'm gonna tell you this. Man. This, I'm gonna just listen to me. This was gonna happen. Go ahead. You got my ears. Well, you gain all that muscle, you ain't used to fighting like that. Not no twelve rounds. So I think he gonna look good for the first four to six rounds. He gonna be surprising himself. So you and see, then, it like the Kell Brook versus Triple G. That's what you said. That's exactly what's gonna happen. Just that's exactly what's gonna happen. And you gonna buy the eight seven. You like what happened to that? And he just gonna. Fall. I'm telling you, that shit will burn you out, man. It's gonna burn you out. But and I'm quite sure, Mikey. Mikey. I'm quite sure. The better fighter than Kendall Brook. I believe Bruh. that too. I ain't gonna lie. Who? Let me ask y'all a question. Here, Go, ahead. Go ahead. Check this out, Mike. Check this out, Mike. Hey, you say all right, Kell Brook didn't dominate his fights in the 147 like Mikey dominated his fights in the 135. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know this. It's going to be a little bit better than the Kell Brook GDG. You know what I mean? But see, that's what I, say. I think, like I think that this is my problem. Mikey's been fighting. Mikey from my Mikey's who? Mikey's fat, bro. He he, he comes he, down. I'm, I don't know if y'all remember him coming down, losing all that weight, looking like a skeleton. He's a naturally bigger dude. So when he was fighting these people at 130 and 125 and all that bullshit, 35, he was, he was bigger. You know what I'm saying? So he was yeah. able to get away with a lot of stuff because he just drained himself, drained himself. So and he, well, and he, he it worked for him. So now yeah. you're going, but now you yeah. fighting a guy that's even bigger than you naturally. Yeah, it's Earl Spence. So like all that whole your whole style, how you used to do against people, where you don't have to move and you can impose yourself because you're bigger than them. Now they're going to be imposing their will on you. So I don't know how he's going to react to that. I mean, he's been in the ring with Madonna and all these different people and Pacquiao, but and I just don't think. He's gonna be at a Washington 160. Board. Yeah, but he just he's hands just on run at 180 or something. You know what I'm saying? So it's like this, yeah, he's a bigger dude. He gonna Marvin Hagler. I'm telling you what's gonna happen, man. It's gonna be like, you know what it's gonna be? It's gonna be Roberta Duran and Tommy Hearns. Or Roberta Duran, Marvin Hagler. That's you go watch that fight and you see what happened. Roberta Duran gave uh, uh, uh what's his name? A hell of a fight, Marvin Hagler and all them, but it just if you look at it after a while, he just wore him down. Yeah, one to nine. Uh, deep browsing hashtag but, pray for Mike. <laughs> but yeah. let's but, uh, pray for Marvin, Mikey. That's the that's the natural Willie. thing to say. But let me say this. Let me speak. I was listening to both of y'all for a minute. Who mm -hmm. the fuck has Errol Spence faced with the experience of Mikey? Let's answer that. Don't no, please don't say Kell Brook because Kell Brook started boxing late. Mikey Garcia been born boxing. Nigga, his he, mm -hmm. he got a boxing family behind him. So Coffee. the experience. The experience of Mikey Garcia could play a factor. Not only that, the counter punching ability of Mike Garcia could play a factor. Not only that, people sleep on the speed. And I'm not even talking about just physical speed, mental speed. Yeah. I think that Mikey is more quicker at thinking on the fly 
Spence. Yeah, I, 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 would, I agree instinct. with you. Uh-huh. It's instinct. I train the dog but, from but, a puppy, but, man. But what happens is, though, the reason Any why you good think at, like that is because nobody's adjust. pressuring you. When somebody's pressing you, it's hard as hell. When you the smaller guy, it's hard to sit there and try to think. And but when you when you confident you can't hurt me, yeah, I can I can think of all kind of shit I want to do versus you. You know what I mean? But you okay? But it's a, it's a gift and a curse to pressure. The the good the gift of it is, it's just it's pressure. But mm -hmm. the curse is it's all type of openness, yo. You you're open all night. Yeah. You're open all night. So then I know Mike is gonna see that. He's gonna be landing on Spencer's chin. Mike, hey, Mike trying to pick that man apart. When he come in, man, Mike he's gonna be pop. So, so, <laughs> so my man, question is, how much are y'all betting on this man? Tell me. Hey, how much are y'all betting on okay. this man? Let me tell let me tell you this. I want to bet you if you give me what the odds is. If you, no Mikey, man. if you give me what the odds is giving out, I I snatch uh, that bet. I'm not doing that four to one. And three, <laughs> nah, I'm not doing the four to one. I will I, too. Cause... Why not? Oh, hey, Earl Smith fans scared to put the four to one on. Yeah, yeah, I'm not. I'm not doing no four to one. No, I'm not doing that. Anybody can get caught. You know, this punch is ten. You gonna put that four to one? Let me let me make a let me make an announcement. Let me make an announcement. Anybody that want to bet me, your boy love one or hate one, anybody that want that bet, put your 400 to my 100. That's a free 100. If it's that easy, you got a free 100 coming. What the fuck y'all talking about? No. Y'all making it seem like Mikey ain't got a chance? It seems like it's too easy, man. So I got I to gotta call these cats out. Marvin Williams, what's up? You trying to make that bet, man? Yeah. He, he already talking about He ain't saying nothing. Marvin Williams, you trying to make that bet? D. Brown, you trying to make that bet? 100 to 100. Four hundred to one hundred. Yeah, five. Four hundred to one hundred. If y'all just know, spit, man down, hands down, kill all that. What's the deal? I just want to know. Y'all trying to make that bet? They ain't trying at to least, do it, man. You know? Listen, at least Colin is giving the man a puncher's chance. These yeah, motherfuckers saying Mikey ain't got no chance. Yeah, so, he got a Kyle, chance. Fuck y'all talking about? Two to, two to one. Yeah, I do two to one. I, 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 got, I got the two to one for you. I got the two to one. Hey, hey, Earl. That, that's, I don't know. I got to think about that for you. I don't know. That might be a bet, though. I'll give you two to one eyes. I'll give you two to one eyes. That's best I can give you. Shit. That boy. I, I mean, he can hit him now. But I just, I just don't see it. I just. I see this will be a good fight in the first four rounds. It's going to be real technical up top. We're going to see Earl grow. Earl been in there with some people, too, now. He's been at the Mayweather gym and all these oh, different yeah, places. Oh, yeah. so uh -huh. He's been in there with but them, the Masters juicing? Floyd. But what's they juicing? Uh -huh. but, but what's they juicing, though? Oh, uh, you know, I, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, I ain't going to say That's, nobody. No, they weren't juicing. So let me but, ask you a question. I, if Mikey if Mike Garcia is juice for Earl Spence, well let me let me rephrase that. When Mikey Garcia is juice for Earl Spence, you don't think that he's gonna be able to have better punch resistance? Like he could take a better punch? No, I think he's gonna get his ass smoked in about eighth round, man. I ain't gonna lie. Even on steroids. Even I, on I, steroids. I, the steroids ain't got nothing to do with your heart. It didn't make you quit. And he don't, he and it's already in the back of his mind, like I can go down here and take this Lomachenko fight and get even more money. You know what I'm saying? Tell my brother, stop the fight. Let's go get this Lomo money. You know what I mean? It was too big. Because he ain't got nothing to lose. You know what I'm saying? It's like, he, 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 all you got to do is say he was too big for me. You got something yeah. to lose, bro. He, he can't go he out there and get treated like that. Man, that fight can't get stopped in the middle of the fight like Ricky Dow. Man, that's embarrassing, okay. bro. To go out there, yeah. okay. He ain't gonna go out there and lay it out in the first round. What if, Mikey go to what if Mikey go to Mikey distance? What if Mikey go to distance with Earl Spence? If he go to distance, is that yeah, an automatic W? Is, is that an automatic W? No, nah, I'm telling you, he's going to get beat up, man. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, he's going to get his ass beat, man. I'm just, I don't want to hurt y'all. I love Mikey. I like Mikey, too. But I just think he's going to get his ass beat up. And it's going to be ugly. And, and everybody just, I mean, you okay, got what he did to Kell Brook. Kell Brook was a big one for a welterweight, man. People nah, remember. this is... Listen, why don't Mayweather fight people coming off a loss? Answer that question. A KO loss at that. They're not 100%. Uh, I don't yeah. give a fuck what nobody said about that. It. Yeah. It's the reason Mayweather don't fight people coming off a loss. Mike Garcia undefeated and actually feels that he can beat Errol Spence. Errol Spence have never faced nobody that really thought they was going to win, bro. 
Mel Brooks just fought him because he was like, man, you're going to earn this bill. I ain't going to just give it to you now. Right. It was a check. Because he had went up the mountain Now that I know that the, uh, the, uh, Earl Spence fans, they, they, they kind of got a little faith in Mikey Garcia a little bit now. You know what I mean? We, we, we said <laughs> Marvin <laughs> Williams in the conversation. conversation oh, man, he mad at me right now, man. Look, if we answer that question, we say never say Mikey don't have a chance. Mikey is a hell of a fighter. I'm telling you, y'all, y'all prove it that Mikey is a, is a good fighter. But he, hey. Mike got a chance, man, this fight, man. I'm telling y'all, man. I, man, I man y'all go bitches. watch Roberto Duran versus uh Earl Spence, I mean uh versus uh uh Marvin Hagler. Earl Spence, I mean uh Marvin Hagler versus Roberto Duran. I'm telling you, you're gonna you gonna you're you gonna see all what you wanna see. Roberto Duran was one of the greatest 135, 140 fighters ever. When he kept moving his ass up, man, they was trimming him, man. Yeah, but Mikey Garcia is more technical than Roberto than me. And, and say what? Yeah, he's better than Roberto he's, Duran. He's more bro. technical. He's more technical than Roberto Duran. Shit, bro. man, y'all. Roberto, Roberto Duran, Roberto Duran is a Hall of Fame fighter. No, no, no hold up, hold this? up. I've never said Roberto. I never said Roberto. Listen, Duran was fast. You know, I understand all that, but I feel like Mikey. He got he a little more technical than me. A little more technical than me. We talking about the man called the Hands of Stone. He was that. He was yeah. man. He was killing From Panama. Me. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah. Come on now, Mikey ain't even I'm on that level yet. Roberto. He ain't even knowing that love. This man went yeah. all the way up, knowing he shouldn't even been up that high. And for I'm telling you what's gonna happen. Mikey gonna be the the greatest one, the one of the best at 140. He's gonna sit there and and and, and take that money Adrian Browner should have sat there and did. I love Roberto though, but the, the dude did lose 30 fights. Let's 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 not act that let's not act like he ain't got like 30 losses. I don't care. I don't care how many Roberto lost. When he was at the top of his game, he was slaying. He fought until he was old. That was back when they was fighting. You know I mean, shit. That's true. Little, That's true Ray Lewis, me. You got to think about it. Ray Leonard took what five years off, and came back and fought Mar Marvin Hagler or something like that. Mm -hmm. Come on, man. You know and how old he was like, then already when he took before the fight. Oh yeah, he come back a few. Uh, Earl Spence yeah, like that. You come back. back no, nah, uh, Floyd ain't fight nobody but Pacquiao for that bread. Floyd get on my damn nerves. He need to make up his mind, man. Is he retired? No, he, he no. He got to build that fight up, man. Man, Floyd, Look, I talk to you, man. Our, with my emotions. Okay, I'm right now, right now, would you, pay, would you pay $99 right now to watch Floyd and Pacquiao? Probably not, right? No, uh-uh, uh-uh, hell no. But, right, you'll pay about 60 you know what I'm That's saying, good. 60 70 50, right? 55 60, 55 60. Right, exactly. So, if Floyd needs Pacquiao to get a big win, you make people start believing in him again, and then we can get so I because I, I got he got to get that uh, two or three hundred million. He ain't fighting for nothing less. At least that, I ain't going you know I mean? bro. That's a great point. I ain't think about it like that. That's a great point. Like if you yeah. if he would have stopped Adrian Broner, it would have been kind of like okay, he, oh. at least In stopped him. Mm -hmm. That fight was kind of boring too. I think Pacquiao mm -hmm. might lost a little. Um, no, he might lost yeah, a little off that fight. Everybody started questioning his age. Everybody said, "Well, you know, he's starting to look a little old because he missed a lot of shots." That's why Adrian thought he beat him because Pacquiao <laughs> threw a whole lot of shots, but he was missing like a mug. Yeah, you know what he I mean. Was he was missing. He was missing. for not doing it for the hood, like he said he was. Man, Bronner, Bronner getting them checks is all he was worried about. Man, he if you it, man, listen, if he gonna he all he did was tell a lie and make some people believe it. You know what I mean? And mm -hmm. getting paid off that shit, and, you know. Bronner, Bronner's a great. He's gonna be a gatekeeper now. But like I said, if I was Bronner, I'm going down to 140, and I'm gonna dominate that division. And then if I or if I'm Danny Garcia, I'm going. I'm, I'm gonna go be a. I'm not gonna be the gatekeeper at 147. No. Man, Riga's progress can he fight Bronner. He ain't no 147 beat. fighter. He, what, bro? He, a one, he ain't no 140. He a catchweight fighter, bro. He ain't no 147 fighter, man. Yeah, but he he'll, he'll do it if, if the paper. If the paper right, he'll he'll do it. Yeah, that's right what I'm here. saying. He, he can do anything, but after a while, it's going to be like, all right, who you keep giving him to? You got to keep serving him young. Like, he's going to be a gatekeeper, man. Um, you know? Yeah. He's going to be the gatekeeper for, like, like we keep talking about, like, um, who was that we just said that that needed uh Damn, I just slipped my mind. But, yeah, he's going to be a gatekeeper. He's going he gonna to be a gatekeeper, man. He's going to be, like, right, he's on the cusp. You know what I'm saying? Like Devin Haney. You know what I'm saying? Like, we trying to find somebody for Devin Haney to fight, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, like, in that theory, if Devin Haney was really, like, 147, like, that'd be, like, the perfect fight. Like, all right, yeah, you, this is your yeah, stepping stone. Yeah, be a perfect fight. 
you know. Hey, bro, look, you even fight Jose Cesar Lopez. To be real oh, no, no, no. If I'm if I'm, if I'm Broner, I don't take that fight. Mm-hmm. Oh no. Only fight big names. It's a risky. You're right, man. Only big names. You right. Big names. Yeah. And that dude's too big, and yeah, the Josito Lopez too big for him, and he gonna keep coming. She, if 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 I if wasn't that could knock him down, man, twelve you rounds of boxing, it's really over. Yeah. Yeah. He had to be a gatekeeper. Right. Oh, let you me say one gatekeeper. thing. What what Broner did after the fight was kind of smart, though. What he was saying and shit, it was kind of smart because he's on every meme on social media. That's any publicity is good publicity. And everybody talk about what he did after the fight more than what he did inside the fight. Right. So that was kind of smart a little bit. Yeah, it was he, like I said, he got he didn't worry about money, man. He don't care how it come, he don't care how it come off. He ain't worried about like before he was worried about his image, you know, back in the day. Man, he don't at this uh-huh. point, man, you got you got about two more years in this in, before everybody realized you're a fraud. After Madonna, you ain't through your hands since then. You know what I mean? So if I'm him, I'm telling all the lies. I'm going to keep getting y'all think I'm going to really throw some punches. And I'm going to keep getting this money. And you know what I'm saying? Pay for these court costs and my lawyer. You know what I'm saying? And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, he's just trying to survive. People don't understand. He's a survivor, bro. He's just surviving, man. He's a black, young black yeah. boy that's surviving out here. And, and you know, you got to hey. love his hustle because he's fooling you. with. The, you know what I'm saying? He has something to <laughs> He's, he's tricking us like a motherfucker. But I'm not going to lie. Can we really get mad at Broner? I mean, he's a young black man getting money. I'm talking about Broner, bro. You really got, really got to have like a, a boxing oh. channel and make videos about the niggas. Look at him and be like, man, this nigga's a clown. Because when I before I made, had a boxing channel, I was like, just be like, oh, he cool. He's a funny dude. I hope he win. But mm. dude, like, I be having to make videos on that nigga. I be like, this dude is a square ball, bro. Yeah. I'm talking about, he, like, he like, laughing he, his way he, to the bank. I don't know how much he took from the pack, y'all. Man, listen, he laughing his way to the bank. Like, five million? Like, five million? I mean, like, five million? He really got the back end money? Yeah, so he probably top out about seven or seven, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Something like that. Seven, yes, eight. seven, eight. Yeah, that's probably. Look, think about that. That's a lot. Okay, how much is all the rest of these dudes getting? You know what I'm saying? Because he really, he really should only be getting like, you know what I'm saying, seven hundred thousand. You know what I'm saying? That's what he right. really getting. Seven hundred you know fifty. Five hundred thousand. That's what he about. To, if he don't talk crazy, guess how much he gonna get paid? Seven hundred thousand. So what you think he gonna say? Oh, man, I'm about to sell this fight. Talk crazy, man. He, man, the man had on 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 guiding them on his trunks, man. If that ain't the most coonish buffoonery, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, man? Dude, crazy, yeah. but he he he. But I guess he, he'll get another payday. And then and then look and then hey, up in Michigan and up Midwest, the whole Midwest, Ohio too. I know it was below zero. That nigga went out there passing out no covers or nothing. Tom also yeah. doing it for the hood. Where the covers at? Where the covers at for the people out there freezing in Chicago, and Ohio, and Michigan? You ain't do nothing for no hood, man. Yeah. The you did for the hood was go to Prada and show and, and show the people that that work at Prada that black people from the hood can get money and buy from them. Man, he don't he care about no hood, man. He he a hustler. That's just like a dope boy. You think the dope boys really care about their hood? No. How you care about the hood and you selling dope to these people just because you turn around and give them a turkey? You know what I'm saying? After you done made them broke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's not cool. You know what I'm saying? Let's be real. Let's call it like, yeah, that's, that's like, not respectful. Like, oh, I'm going to give you a turkey, but I'm the reason why you ain't got eaten in the first place. Nah, oh, man. Come on, bro. Get out of here. Man, you he don't care. That's a, that's fight and then people paying all that money to watch that man fight. He ain't even yeah, fight. He just keep tricking he people. He a hustler. Not, 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 not. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? He just been hustling, and he, he however he gotta get it, he gonna get it that way. And you, you just gotta say, "Damn, man, I can't believe you gonna do that." But hey, you know, uh, yeah, it's too bad. Oh yeah, uh, we we gonna finish this. We gonna finish this video. Uh, we got about a good fifteen minutes. We can finish it out talking about this Manny Pacquiao saying he's not thinking about Floyd Mayweather. He's looking towards fighting the winner between Mike Garcia, Earl Spence, or. And he really ain't even say Mikey Garcia, so I think he's thinking about Spence. Uh, he just uh, saying that so he keeps some leverage, man. He wants the Mayweather fight. He just can't sit there and say it. And then, so I then think, Floyd, I think Mayweather acting like a diva. But I think you think that Mayweather acting like a diva with him. I mean, uh, Mayweather owns all the leverage. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. what, what you, what you, I, I mean, beat you already. 
I don't need the money. I do, but I don't. I take it. You know what I'm saying? But who else? Who else? Mayweather gonna fight then? If it's, well, he's nobody. He's gonna retire. Nobody's gonna retire. But stop playing with us, Mayweather. He be playing with us. No, that's why I gotta play with you. I, with you. I gotta stay in the. I gotta stay in you. I gotta stay relevant. So I gotta keep giving you these bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Instagram shit with money. Yeah, I got. Man, he want to keep getting paid, don't he? Keep. He want to keep his hey, name. God, I ain't mad at that. But, yeah. Uh, he want to keep his. I don't blame him. I ain't mad at him either. I don't blame yeah, him. Once you once you look at it from a business aspect, you can't blame him. No, nah, like he just trying to keep his name active. And his problem is his fighters he got. They lose it. You know what I'm saying? Um. What was the dude that got his head buddy split open? Badu Jack. Badu Jack. 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 He old as hell and he got his ass whooped too. And he don't care about Badu like that because if you put Badu in there with some beasts though. Man, because he ain't shit. But see, he Badu Jack got a good living off of that. Just being humble. Don't worry about what Foy say. Uh -huh. Keep getting his money. You know what I'm saying? These paydays. I keep getting these shots at these titles. How? Cause I rock with Floyd. I don't say nothing. I don't say shit. I just say, okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. See, that's, what, see, that's the benefit. That's the benefits of having a promoter. They get you in a, an opportunity where you fight for titles. And you you ain't supposed to. You know what I mean? Like, that's why you pay them that money. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. And, 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 and that's why Floyd give them that. That's why Floyd give them that. But yeah, like you said, look what I think. Do what I think. Floyd, I think. Uh, like you said, Floyd gonna have to beat uh, Manny Pacquiao. Gonna have to go out there and beat one of these young dimes. You know what I'm saying? If Manny Pacquiao beat Keith Thurman, then Floyd to fight him. Exactly. But at that at that point, if Manny Pacquiao beats Thurman, he has re, he has re, he has regained all his all his mystique. Yeah, the Pacquiao he fans. Thurman, he's, that, that's, re, that's rejuvenation. Man, he beat Keith Thurman, man. Now everybody gonna say, oh, he gonna beat Floyd. Floyd old, ain't fought nobody. Okay. You think Floyd ain't over there training if you want to. Yeah, but, yeah, hey, do you think know. Keith Thurman can make, I think Keith Thurman can make the adjustments to beat a Manny Pacquiao, but I do see Manny Pacquiao beating him. I, I think oh, yeah. Thurman can beat him too. I just, I just want Thurman to have one more tuna fight first. Yeah. I just want Thurman to have Thurman one more tuna fight in it. They're gonna, they're gonna drown him. I think they're gonna, they gonna drown him. I, I mean, I think Thurman. Yeah, Thurman ain't drown, skillful uh, though. I think no. I'm talking about Thurman. Maybe. I think Thurman gonna beat Pacquiao. I don't think Pacquiao can beat Thurman. That's what I, I said. Think Thurman one more tuna fight. I think Pacquiao could have beat the one that fought Jose Lopez though. I think he could have beat that Thurman. That's why I think he should take one more tuna fight. Then he'll beat Pacquiao worst night, worst nightmare. Yeah, I think but he, he, really I mean, got he already gonna come left. in kind of gun shy. You're right. He gonna come in kind of gun shy because his last performance wasn't that great. You know what I mean? It, as if it wasn't supposed to be that great though. I, I don't know why nobody thought it thought it was. I mean, the dude was off for 20 months. I mean, with, with, with rehab, you know what I mean? It, you know, you know. That's what I'm saying. So how good was the man supposed to look? Yeah, he looked great though. The first couple rounds. I think that's what. Yeah, I think that's what beat us. Everybody said, "Man, look how great he looked in first four rounds." Yeah, he was put on the boxing yeah. clinic though. Oh, first four he was putting on the clinic. <laughs> I was like, "Damn, man, he was putting on the clinic." Man, he was. He was. He was. Yeah, yeah. and then they said, "Oh shit!" You know what I mean? What? The real, the real just came What'd out. What you say, Q? <laughs> I said, "I ain't mad." What you say, Q? You hear me? Y'all hear me? Hey, me neither. Me neither. I ain't mad, I ain't mad at all. No, I'm saying, I, I just feel like, you know what I mean? He just got to get back in that ring get back in that. You know, he ain't been in there for a couple years, so he got a little ring rust. And then, like, everybody get caught. You feel me? It's how you do it, make your adjustments. Man, you this is my problem. I thought he would have been a little bit smarter by holding. He didn't hold, so that shit was weird. I was like, damn, mm -hmm. if the right referee would have stopped him. Man, I, I got think... a theory that Robert Garcia got, and you got to hear this. The reason why Robert Garcia does great against black fighters is because most of them can't fight backing up. When we when we back up, we just we just lean back, and so as soon as we lean back, they rush us. They start, you know, watch the fight with Keith Thurman and him. Watch 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 what Mikey and all them did against uh, Bronner. Mikey and Bronner. 
Yeah, look at how Madonna did Floyd. All we always get caught is when we when we on de are defensively, we backing up, and we all we are, we up high. You know what I mean? We ain't pivoting. We up high, and then we pull out, and he they just he bum rushes every time. Look at all of, all these fighters. I'm and telling you, watch it. And they're making it like we're running too. They're making it like we're running. Well, you can't when you back well, it up like that. You can't protect yourself. You know what I'm saying? Your hands down. It's just he's a saying, natural thing. Upper body movement. They use the upper body except for legs. They not. Yeah, they using the upper body. That's what they do. They bum rush. Mm -hmm. yeah. Q, I text you. Q, what did I text you? Yeah. What did I tell you? I said, man, dude need to uh, stop being so high when he backing up and change levels. You know what I mean? Yeah. Pivot more. But you know, when you tired, you don't want to pivot. You don't want to use your legs. Your legs are done. So you get too high. a little bit, though, you know. I ain't mad at Robert, oh, it's though. gangster. No, I'm saying yeah, like that's why he said he got he he undefeated versus us though. You know what I mean? Well, not undefeated, but like against uh Bronner and them, he, he killing got, him. He, yeah, he got a lot more wins and losses against us. He did get maybe yeah. the hardest fight out in in a long time. That that uh that first Marcus Bronner fight. But that had Alex Ariza involved in that fight. Man, listen, a lot of these guys can't. Most of the dudes can't fight backing up. And if you watch all they work. Everything they doing is straight. That's why I used to love Roger. When the people don't understand Floyd's mid work, it was more to me about his movements and shots. You know what I'm saying? So you see Floyd yeah. backing up and he shooting his hands, pivoting, throwing shots. He teaching them that shit. Most of these dudes, they sit there and yeah. watch that shit, and they sit there and watch Floyd and them do the hand thing, and they stand right in one spot. Boop, 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 boop. Right? <laughs> hey, <dude. laughs> they go against the bag. Roger comes straight boop, forward. Boop, 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 boop. You know what I mean? You can't. Yeah. You don't fight like that. Yeah, that's if you don't just, like that. This ain't rock 'em sock 'em. This ain't rock 'em sock 'em. Right. It's not. Yeah. But I was gonna say, y'all. You know, I think we only got a little more time before before niggas get off or whatever. I want to talk about that Wilder versus Fury rematch. And do you think Wilder's ducking Joshua? No. Nah. Uh, which one you want to talk about first? Which one you want to talk about first? It's Wilder ducking Joshua. No, uh, he ducking him for the money. I'm not. It's not ducking. You don't have nobody else to fight, uh, Joshua. He's gonna fight Jarrell Miller. Yeah, yeah, cause they made him. He ain't had nobody else to fight. Jarrell Miller was talking shit to uh, Eddie Hearn like, man, y'all got me with this contract and y'all ain't letting me fight him. Same thing. Dylan no, White said. Dylan White trying to come over to PBC. Cause uh, like you, you yeah. ain't letting me fight Joshua. What the hell is what I'm here for? Why I signed this contract? You just stalling me out. Probably uh, uh oh, Dylan White go to if Dylan White go to PBC, that'll be gangster. We want to talk about that. Yeah, he, he, he already said he's trying to go over there and talk to him. Yeah, he's tired of sitting there. Uh, oh, my bad, yo. I, ain't, I was on the phone. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie though. I ain't gonna say ducking, I'm not gonna say Wilder ducking AJ, but what I will say is. Eddie Hearn said, Eddie Hearn be lying though. Eddie Hearn said Wilder turned down 50 50. That's hard to believe though. That's very Man. hard to believe that Wilder turned down See, 50 50. See, that's, that's that bullshit. It'd be 50 50 for the purse, but on the back end, that's what we talking about. You know what I'm saying? It'd be all kind of other extra money that these motherfuckers get. I don't mean cuss uh -huh. like that, but you know what I'm saying? That they get. No, that's all good. That you know what I'm saying? That, they, that they'll that be holding out. Like, yeah, he turned down 50 50. Yeah, a purse. I'm not fighting you 50 50 and then you get everything on the back end. You know what I mean? Like how Floyd talked. That's how Floyd said with Pacquiao. I give you twenty five million right now. You know what I mean? Pacquiao look at him like, why would I sign that, man? The fight gonna make yeah. way more money on pay per view. So I don't get none of that. I just get a guaranteed twenty forty million. Man, get out of here. Hey man, AJ yeah, doing right right, right right now. Fighting big baby. That's what we supposed to be fighting. People over here talking about Deontay Wilder ducking. Uh, Ducking, ducking Anthony Josh with Deontay Wilder supposed to be revenging that, that rematch. You feel me? Like, they, they he that he got a draw. They're going to handle that. He got a draw. Some people say he lost that. He can't be worried about no Anthony Joshua right now. You know what I'm saying? He feel that like he got to go do what he got to do. So you got to give him that respect for trying to go handle a draw. You know what I mean? He's still going to go fight. Joshua. Who put him back in the front of him? Hey, say what? Somebody said static and like a motherfucker. Hey, Kyle. Uh, and, and love one. I hear right here. Yeah, go ahead. I'm here. Yeah, everybody here. Static a little bit.
I hear yeah. static too. Yeah. It sounds like rain. Yeah, yeah. What well, you gonna say, man? I ain't gonna lie though. I, 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 I'm not gonna be biased though. Wilder turned down 50 50. He could he could just take that and knock knock AJ out, and then the rematch gonna be even more crazy. And then he gonna be in the man. And to be hey, real, love, love what you well, he well, already is in the man. Now he is in the man. I'm not saying he don't got no type of power. I'm not saying that, but hey, we gotta admit a AJ is still the A side, yo. Why? AJ well, still the A side. Okay, huh? let me ask you. Which let me ask you this: Who gonna make more money off the next? Which one is a bigger fighter? Which one is a big fight? Tyson Fury versus Wilder or Anthony Joshua versus Baby Miller? Um, Tyson Fury versus Wilder, of course. Oh, so, but so think that's about my whole this. point. So why why would I have to just say come on and fight me when you don't got nobody else to fight? I got you, pigeon. I got the left. Hold on, let me hold up. Let me let me rephrase that. The bigger fight, the f bigger fight, money wise or Money wise, what? money wise. Oh yeah, most definitely. Yeah. Man, Jamir Miller, it, and I then, like him, but he ain't shit. You know what I mean? Like he not great. You know what I mean? Like, he he, he not. He's, he's never beat nobody. He's never beaten not one legit heavyweight. So that's what I'm saying. He, he never beat no one. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So Anthony Joshua what? don't got no. He don't have no leverage. What you? What, why would I? So what you the side? You ain't got nobody to fight. I got a fight that's gonna make that's making everybody say what hell with Anthony. Yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah. Probably even better than Anthony. But, but, they took that fight last year. That went to America, fighting a risky fight against Big Baby Miller, and I got Big Baby giving him a lot of trouble. I always say he's gonna give him some trouble. He come in here to fight so he Big Baby stop. Miller. He act like he couldn't come to America last year. You feel what I'm saying? He act like Ooh. it was impossible. Like a fighter was in the UK. He act like he only can fight in the UK. Now you coming to America to fight Big Baby. Like, man, he ain't got nothing like else. Ain't nobody paying for the fight nowhere else, man. So they trying to get some American fans to actually know who Joshua is still. And they and, and the only people that even mm -hmm. nobody even really knows, and the people in Europe definitely don't know Jarrell Big Baby is. You know what I'm saying? Hell no. So you got to bring the people. fight. So you got to bring the fight to the U.S. And, and, and to be real, Eddie Hearn is, is 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 shitting in his pants right now. Like, man, I done offered all these money. He need. I'm telling. You, he need Al Heyman so bad, and that's why they wilder. And I'm like, man, we about to. We could make a trilogy out of this. Say Tyson Fury, stop wilder. You don't think now nah, you won't pay again to fight and see him fight again? I would. No. I would love. Yeah. I, no, I, I, we would kind of have to. We would have to. Oh, we would have to. That's, that's a trilogy, right? We'll be, that's the, that'll be a trilogy. Yeah. We'll, right? Yeah. On a trilogy, we'll be yeah. we'll be forced so, to pay that money. Right. So who 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 can Anthony Joshua fight and make a trilogy out of it? Nobody. Um, Dillian, I, Dillian White, only Dillian White. I, but Dillian White would have to stop AJ in the second fight. Then he make a trilogy with um Dillian White. That's the only yeah. person though. That's and all that shit is person. in the air. If would uh, Wild and Fury already fought already, you know what I mean? So that's already in the works. It, it, it's all hypothetical. Yeah, all so hypothetical. that's what I'm saying. Like yeah. so Wilder got Wilder and Tyson Fury got the cards because they still got fights that they can get. That's what's the benefit. Of having a promoter with so many other fighters, good fighters, that you they can just recycle. Just like like Sean Porter really ain't that great to me, right? But because he can he keep not fighting, great enough. then he can keep fighting Danny Garcia the same way. If then if they had like different promoters, like they really would be done with boxing. You know what I'm saying? They'd be really gatekeepers for real, for real. ESPN type status. You know, but yeah, because they were Al Heyman, they keep them. They, they man keep them recycling. Bob Arum used to do it all the time. You know what I mean? So hell yeah, that's why he fought Bradley three times. Ain't nobody want to see Bradley as come on now. Time. Yeah, nobody <laughs> wanted to see that shit. But he had to make it seem like he was close. You know what I mean? Made it seem like he was close and actually, be, you know what I mean? Got, just to, man, do you want more money or not? Damn the oh, do you want the money? You know what I'm saying? Damn, we don't care nothing about. None of this other stuff, man. Do you want some money? Yeah, a lot of money. Okay. Well, we need you to fight. We need you. We got to make it interesting. Nobody wants to see you blow people out. Right. Yeah, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good. That's true. Hey, though, hey, you know what, though? Sometimes, 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 I, sometimes, 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 sometimes I be thinking that they would just do that. They knock Tyson Fury out a long time ago, man. But he just, they trying to make yeah. it clear out in the first round. That's how people went into that fight. That's why the pay-per-view ain't do like, man, this man's gonna go up in here and knock. Well, hold on, 
Hold on, Q. Hold on, Q. Can I, can I just say one more thing before we talk about that? This, this is the last thing I got to say about Joshua. When Joshua beats Miller, they're going to say that's the best win. They're going to make it seem like that was the best win on earth, right? But when Wilder beat Luis Ortiz, they say Luis Ortiz haven't beat nobody. Yeah. So who the fuck has Gerald Miller beat? Nobody. So watch them go crazy and, and make it seem like, just like Charles Martin. Charles Martin was a, a paper champ, a straight bum. And they yeah. give him all the credit in the world for being bum ass Charles Martin. Like Wilder would have never knocked out Charles Martin. You're right. Hey, right. Get the fuck up out of here. Yeah, I guess what I got. If you sell that business, I got to right, now just come down to who you believe. All I got to do is make you want to fight the shit again. That's all I'm trying to do. You know what I mean? I'm trying to map my, as, as a promoter, you just want to make them see it again or see the dude again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. I mean, they got to do their job. They got to do their job. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. But, but no, yeah. I, 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 you know, like the Wilder, like I said, I think Wilder's going to be a big fight, man. And Joshua going to have to come on down. And they not see Eddie Hearn about the. Did they do the purse thing yet already? Because Eddie Hearn was talking about he was going to bid on it. I'll bid everybody for that purse bid. I With the Wilder the Fielder, bid. period. He ain't going to do nothing, bro. That dude just talking, man. He be lying, bro. No, man, man, Wilder, 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 Wilder's mind is made up, though. Him. Wilder's mind is made up. He's going for Fury rematch. Yeah, but it's going to be. It's up for Who a purse bid, rematch? though. That's what I'm saying. It's up for a purse oh. bid. And Eddie Hearn. Eddie Hearn was talking about he was gonna outbid everybody for it. You know what I mean? He ain't gonna do it. Man. Dude, he just talking shit. No, I would. If I was him, I put that shit on. Man, he remember he got he got he got he got his problem is he got to sell fights to that the zone thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, Mando. That's Mando so he 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 need big fights. So he don't he don't care who it is. Man, come on with it, bro. Eddie Hearns can't even win his own purse bids with his own fighters, my G. Well, he ain't got you know enough that? fighters to put on no fight. You know what I mean? He, he, he only got fucking, he only got Anthony Joshua and maybe a Danny Jacobs. Who else he, he really got? got? Dillian White? I, he got Demetrius. I ain't no more with it now. He got, he got work in the one, in 160 division. He got it locked. It's almost like Charlo need to go ahead and start trying to deal with Danzig. I fuck with Andre, but a lot of people know who Andre is. Say what? A lot of people know who Andre it is, though. I fuck with Demetrius, said, but a lot of people know who he is. <laughs> I nigga know who he is. And I know not yeah. no people, though. You right. No, no people. No. Yeah. You got to be hardcore. No, nobody know none of these cats, though. Don't nobody know none of them. People, Jake, people know who Danny Jacobs is, though. Especially after the Triple G fight and, and he finna fight Canelo. Uh, people definitely Danny know who Danny Jacobs is. That Danny Jacobs fight gonna be so good, boy. Ooh, I think, right might, I think he might win. I got that. You know he got bro. stopped. I told. I told. He got yeah, stopped. Now I bet y'all on that. Yeah, I got. I'm taking all bets on that. <laughs> I, I I'm think definitely it's betting a, on Canelo I, on that I, one. I think it's three to one to Canelo yeah. though. Man, three to one to Canelo. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> oh, go two one both ways. Give me two one, and I'll give you two one. <laughs> hey, hey, we gonna talk about that. Let, let it marinate yeah. for a minute. These fights is months away. Let it marinate. Yeah. Hey, you know what? Hold up. The Spence fight is nah, pretty close about, though. That shit is a month about, away. Oh, yeah. They been here almost. They fight what February something? Or no, March sixteenth. March sixteenth. Uh, That's yeah, like a month nah. away. Well, no, nah, that's in May, brother. That's in May. No, I'm talking, Canelo. That, uh, I'm talking about the I was talking about the Mikey one. The Canelo no, one is, is Yeah, Canelo. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's a while. That's May 5th. Yeah. Uh -oh. That's past okay. um that's past Back April Fool's Day and everything. <laughs> two to one eyes. We take it. Taking two to one eyes. Who got Canelo? I got Canelo. We're gonna talk about that. Trust me. I, I like y'all a lot. <laughs> that sounds pretty fair. That yeah. sounds pretty fair. And plus, yeah. I can get the money back if Mikey if Mikey win, I could get some money. You know, it's, it's yeah, I like that. I like saying. that. Let me think yeah, about that. Yeah. So it, it, it got you got to take both of them. You can't just take one. <laughs> it's special. You know what I mean? It's yeah. special. You got to get some and take <laughs> some. You know? It is. <laughs> My nigga said he got, he got a bun he got a bundle deal for me. You got you already know. Bundle. I'm, like, I'm selling bundles like bitches out here. <laughs> 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 man, oh, shit. this shit fun, yo. Oh man, yeah. we gonna talk about it. But Wilder vs Fury two, this is the last one, man. Who y'all got, man? We and and why? 
A lot I got, of I got Wilder more. knocking him out in the in the fifth round. I got Wilder Ooh, knocking I, him out. I think that's too early. I think he's gonna do no. probably. I think Wilder gonna knock him out this time. And I'm I'm calling out early because I think uh, Tyson Fury is still nervous about what happened in the twelfth round. He has to be. He has to be. It's early. Like uh he, yeah, this fight gonna be like right? you know, Heavyweights can't move around too much, so shit. He ain't gonna be running around. I that's why I say fifth round. He gonna he gonna try to pitter patter and move and hold, but eventually that right hand gonna land. It's gonna land this time. Yeah. It left the first time. Right and the left it. and 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 Fury gotta look out for that left hook now too, because while it was catching oh, yeah. with that, I think I think that's a weakness of Fury, the left hook. Yeah, it is. Oh, I think yeah, he found it. Well, I mean, if you run it from the right, if you run it from the right hand, you're gonna be stepping right into the left hook. So I mean, if you yes. you be dumb as hell if you wilder to think you're just gonna land the right, you might have prepared for that left hook to line him up. I'm gonna throw the left hook first and move you to the right. You know what I'm saying? So I hit you with the right hand. You know what I mean? Shit, I'm coming down the pipe. The wilder, hey, know wilder he needs his hurt. Hey, I guess Tyson Fury did hurt him a little bit, but like. You can't say Tyson Fury don't hit hard, but I think Wilder could be, you know what I mean? Like, when he got clutch in that 12th round, it was like, I got to go knock this man out. He went out there and did it. You know what I mean? He, he did knock him like out. That. that was a knockout, bro. That was a knockout. Yeah. Fury was knocked uh, out. Uh, I ain't going there. Now, now I ain't giving no knockout because now it's, it's all kind of people, man. They give you all kind of they give you all kind of chances. When Ortiz had Wilder all messed up, they, they did the same no, thing. <laughs> I gotta say that's BS because keep it real. If let's just say Fury would have knocked out Wilder just like that in the twelfth round in the UK, you try to tell me they're not gonna call that fight off? Man, listen. I Wilder would have went down like, like that. I sat there watch Ortiz get on old Wilder's ass, had him rock, and they gave this man so much standing <laughs> time to talk and trying to make sure he's hey, all ready to everything possible. To make I'm sure not gonna even lie. Hey, knock Wilder right. out. Cute. Hey, 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 Q City World. That's, they, that, that's, they that's, that's, that's their biggest comeback, Q. That's their biggest comeback when I say that. That's karma, yeah. Right. That's, a, yeah, that's a good one. You should take care of your business. You know what I mean? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> talking about that last you know. Hey, but you know why? Yeah. You know why the water fans and the. Uh, I got nice water in the eighth round, Kale. They yeah, got to stand got on it because if you don't stand on that knock, knockout, the Tyson Fury fans going to be able to say that Tyson Fury won. And then people be saying stupid stuff like, how did he win? Man, every time you knock somebody out, that's two points. You feel me? So if, if he if Tyson Fury won the uh first round and the second round and he got knocked out, knocked down, that not out, down in the third round, that evens mm -hmm. the fight. It's two two. You know what I mean? People don't know how to count. It's only people don't know rounds. how to count. And then and then, you know what? That, no, nah, dog, just count by 12 rounds, bro. This you feel this, me? cute. Hey, cute. This is round, one got six and one fighter got I mean one fighter got five and one fighter got seven. That's how you gotta count it. You can't count it no other way. You know what I mean? And that's all I'm saying. They don't they can't count. And Q, this is my biggest haymaker towards all that shit. Even the people that's saying Tyson Fury won the fight, they keep saying, Oh, I had him 115, 113. I had him 114, 112. You guys, you that's a close fight. Who do the close fight go to? It's supposed to go to the champion, but Thank them you. is unwritten. Well, hold on, wait, 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 wait. I, I understand what you're saying, but them is unwritten rules. And then it goes back to like I said. Hold on now. It go back to like I said. People Wilder's job was to knock him out. It wasn't for it was the Wilder to survive. So Wilder survived like he was supposed to. And that's why they gave him the fight. I mean gave it a with a draw or whatever draw. it was. Well, yeah. Fury, Fury, you mean Fury yeah. survived? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, and it was up for Wilder to knock him out. So when Wilder didn't knock him out, or you know what I'm saying, you got all these people thinking he was gonna blow him out. But that's that's unwritten, that's unwritten too, though. So why they gotta knock him out to get the W? Why they gotta knock him out to get the W? What? No, that's what the fight was that's made off. Hey, the fight was made off of Wilder knocking him out. And oh yeah, that, that's, a, that's a fact. That's a fact. Let him say that. Is man? Earl Spence and Mike Garcia in the fight? Let him say that. Let him say that. Man, listen. listen oh, yeah. yeah. Look, at, look at Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao. They let That's Floyd. Listen, wait a minute. Remember Floyd Mayweather and Pacquiao, right? You, uh, we all love Floyd. Floyd. Everybody said, well, Floyd just did what he was supposed to do. Pacquiao was the one that was supposed to run in there and knock Floyd out. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? That's why he lost. 
And then we was like, yeah, 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 yeah. So it's the same thing. It's still, you got to do what you did. It's like with Triple G and Canelo. Triple G, Canelo said he was going to come at Triple G and, and walk him down like he was supposed to. That's why Canelo got denied. He got he got yeah, the second fight. Yeah. Much, most definitely did not. How you gonna outland a jab when you ain't even connecting on most of your power punches? You feel me? If, if Canelo would have been connecting on all them power punches, G would have got knocked out. That's how you know Canelo didn't connect. Now Triple G got a chin, yo. Triple G got a, a a nice chin on him, yo. Danny Jacobs proved that. He was walking through Danny Jacobs' shots, all his shots. So when they, they didn't even get shook enough. Yeah. And we know how hard Danny hit. The brother, the brother Triple G got a chair, Q. Well, go ahead, Q. I'm going to cut you off. Yeah, you straight. I'm just talking, dog. We ain't cut. Ain't no cutting off. We talking. You feel yeah. me? No yeah, we free. We freestyling now. We free, we free. This shit part, yeah, though, like y'all. We got to do it again, though. It come down to you got to be who you are, especially when you get to that big. And when you not, it affects the judges because their whole thought process was you supposed to be fighting a certain way. Knocking them out. And when you're not. Yeah. Yeah, and when you're not doing it, it's you can't tell me as a person, human being, it, it's impressionable. Like, well, damn, man, you you supposed to have been did that. Like with Mike Tyson, you thought you was coming to see a knockout. You know what I mean? He ain't getting knocked out. Oh, the other motherfucker must be doing his job. Yep. That's how they created it. That's how they created it. You don't think you know, the count was a little long, though? I you don't think, think the count was a little long? Oh, it was extremely long. But like I said, at that point, it was like, Everybody was living in the moment. Like, can you believe it? He made it this long with King Kong. You wouldn't give him a shot at standing up. No. <laughs> hey, you know I'm I mean? not gonna lie, Q. I, 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 Q, I, I gotta be unbiased. I love Water, but I, I, I don't know, lie, though, bro. It's 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 a championship uh, fight. Y'all you know, what y'all sound like, man? Kyle, you sound <laughs> like Michael Jordan ain't winning shit on the at the free throw line. <laughs> And then you and then the referee like you talk okay, no, so no, 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 no. We gotta give him two more seconds on the clock. No, no. Nah, okay, well, this one, this one I tell you though. Okay. <laughs> oh, hold on, wait, 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 wait. At the same time, okay, you can't tell me referees the calls uh, right now. LeBron gets and all these, these and Steph Curry. The, the the pros they get a different kind of call than the regular teammates. All star get different calls, right? Right. Everybody that's know that, that. You, you, right? And, but but like, if you want to say that, that's wrong. You know what I mean? If, if if a foul's a foul, a jab's a jab, you should grade it as that. That's not what happens. And human nature comes in and says, yeah, but that's that's LeBron, that's Steph Curry, that's uh, whoever else name you want to put on that. And they give him the nod. They give him that foul. That's a great, that's an awesome nod. You know what I mean? That's, you know, that's why he gets that Joe call. Used to get, Joe used to get fouls. Like, he used to get to yell at the referees and stuff back in the day. He had a little pull. You right? All stars got they pull. Uh, so that's what I'm saying. He, so at the same time, it's human nature, man. You're right. But even when Fury even when Fury got up, Wilder was supposed to finish him anyway. He had too much time on the clock to finish him. I will say that anyway. Man, all that wild so, ass swing you yeah, doing. Hold on, man. Colin, 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 Colin threw huh? me all the way off. I kinda of forgot. He was talking like the way he threw it off to me. I kinda of forgot what was like Tyson Fury situation. Hold on, Colin. Kind of. Ain't no all stars getting no seventeen seconds to recruit, to recruit after getting knocked out. No, I'm not saying they get, they get no, the but call. Q, Q, no, they get the call. They get the nod. Right. It don't matter. You but can't touch certain players in the league. Everybody knows that. It don't matter. Because you were saying a man. punch is a punch. You know, a jab is a jab. You should score it like that. Yes, yeah, in, in, in the fair world, it should be like that. But human nature don't allow that. You know what I mean? That's that, that's Michael Jordan. That's whoever's yeah, style on that team. That's a good, great point. You know at, least mean, you you at least you a Chalo. brother. At least you at least you Jamel Chalo. Then it then it do. You feel me? But if you you Canelo, you feel me? You got red hair. You feel yeah, me? yeah, yeah, like, no yeah. You got a whole and you got a whole nation behind you that that buy pay per view. Keep going. Yeah, yeah, damn right. Yeah, you gonna say? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. Hey, I thing. might as well go. Shit, the, the way the way uh, Colin being Tyson Fury attorney, I might as well go as far as saying who the fuck you thought wanted to fight then. No, I, like I said, I still <laughs> think Wilder won. I thought I said. I still think Wilder won, but like I said, you got to know what it's, it's, it's a business. And, and, no, and you can be yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, like I said, yeah. it was Wilder's job you to knock look him at out, it. though. It was Wilder's job to knock yeah. him out. Yeah, and he had time to go this year. He had 12 rounds to do it. I'm going to be truthful. Without the knockout, even though I think he did get knocked out, and I stand on it. Oh, yeah. But without Fair the knockout, I, got, I, give it, I give it a draw. 
You feel me? I gave it six rounds because yeah, you got to get it. One. But I did not. No, I ain't gonna lie. Him up. Without see this, the reason I think a draw is fair because the fight could have went so many ways. You could have right. gave it Wilder with a twelfth round stoppage. You could have said, you know, it was a. I thought a draw was just perfectly fair to me. But I yeah, will say this: that without that last clutch knockdown, Wilder would have lost. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, like, to that point, that last knockdown. Up to that point, he had Wilder looking silly out there. We all know that. You know what I mean? People was like, man, Wilder's supposed it's, to knock him out the Especially the middle round. Hey, yeah. Guys. But like I told Love one, I told Love, we might have just said, but damn, that's, we got to think about it. Who, who, how did he have Klitschko looking? And Klitschko had all the fundamentals. That boy Tyson Fury had Klitschko looking stupid. Yeah, yeah, that's true. But the thing was, it was the long layoff so, bullshit. It's the long. Tyson look. Fury ain't gonna make you look dumb out there. Well, first of all, you fighting a I bigger man. If, if, both. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, you fighting eat both of them. They was fighting bigger mans that they wasn't used to. They used to. They was used to being a bigger man. So when you get in there, and like I keep saying, you can't like with Mikey. You used to being a bigger guy over these one thirties and one thirty fives and shit, one forties. When you go in there playing with this boy Spence and he bigger man, he gonna be a naturally bigger man than you. And that's gonna be the difference. Oh, Mikey is not gonna play with Spence. That's what he's not gonna do, play with that boy. Yeah. He gonna be that's cool. gonna be his most serious fight. Oh yeah. Hey, well shoot, man. Y'all uh we about to get up off this thing. Oh yeah, we yeah, yeah, we basically done. Hell yeah. Yeah, right here. What's up, gangster? Yeah. What's up, what's up? Well, I'll get with y'all boys, man. All right. All right, then, Colin. Man. Punch uh, is all right. Coming. Punch's chance coming soon, y'all. I'm telling y'all, it's coming soon. This is a good show, man. A, uh, I like this show. Yeah. It, was cool. it was a whole lot of energy. Yeah, sure. What we doing, Q? But uh, I like to thank you guys for coming to Q City World. It's been a blast. Go ahead, Love, and hit them with the outro. Yep. Yeah, boy, Love with the hate one. Yeah. I'm munching on shit and shit. Can you hear me? Yeah, hey. Q. Yeah, hey. Yep, it's your boy, Love with the hate one. In the building with your boy, Q City World. Make sure y'all subscribe to Q City World. Love with the hate one. Q City World 2. Love and hate fighting the drama. And that's how we do it, man. We hit y'all with these fire radio shows once a week. And we talk heat. And we're not always kissing each other, asking to agree with each other. We actually say what we feel. So it is what it is. You ain't got you got you might have an Anthony Joshua fan over here, man. You feel what I'm saying? With the Anthony Joshua yeah. fan, you're gonna get destroyed. You know what I mean? You feel what I'm saying? We we don't yep, play yep. We, don't, uh, we destroying all Anthony Joshua fans, man. You feel me? I mess with y'all, but yeah, like thank y'all for coming, man. It's been a blast, man. Peace. Yeah, I like I like this one.